Most people recognize Dr. Homer Warner as an accomplished researcher and a pioneer in medical informatics, but he has also been a devoted husband and father and an accomplished athlete. To understand Homer, consider something that might otherwise just be a footnote in his biography, sailing. Homer bought his first sailboat in 1975. Within seven years, he had mastered the sport. He completed the Trans-Pacific race from Vancouver to Hawaii, using celestial navigation and with family as crew. Think of it, a landlocked sailor finishing a major international race. Ask anyone who has known Dr. Warner. He has a passion for his goals and he has vision. He, he started uh, so many things uh, that, that were visionary. He was way ahead of everybody else. I mean, the very basis of how our information systems work and how we use data at Intermountain Healthcare is based on the vision of Homer Warner. Homer not only changed medicine here in Utah and in Intermountain, but he changed medicine worldwide, literally. Uh, he pioneered medical informatics. Back when Homer started this field, uh, people were using computers, but they were doing it for patient administration, for tracking patients, for billing. But in medicine, it wasn't being used at all. And uh, so one of the first articles we were asked to publish was a description of how you use this tool in medicine. So we were the first ones to do that. That's why we were so excited about it. The computers that uh, Homer, uh, Reed Gardner, Al Pryor, and their colleagues were developing and using were mainframe computers. There were no uh, uh, mini computers or personal computers. Homer had this huge analog computer room. Of course, he took us around and showed us everything and was he excited? He was so excited you thought uh, he had a brand new Lionel train. Uh, we decided to try to model an intellectual process of making a diagnosis and it raised quite a stir. Some of the old cardiologists were really quite insulted to think that the computer could make a diagnosis. And so we had a method that we could use, you see, to follow patients and the whole idea of the intensive care for the first time had the computer as a central component in it. That really got us a good deal of notoriety. We had visitors from all over the world. Well, that was the beginning of the help system. That was the beginning idea of trying to build a system that not only would record what was going on, but helped with the interpretation of that. The help system put us on the map. Uh, there's no question that Intermountain Healthcare has built its reputation on quality, but that quality that we're able to achieve that no one else can is because of the clinical data that we have uh, within our uh, help system. He developed, I believe, the first medical informatics program in the country and perhaps in the world. Uh, and uh, he established a program at LDS Hospital. Who better to choose uh, to uh, represent the center, center in title than Homer Warner? It all started with an idea, a vision some hard work, we explored reality, uh, we refined the idea, we grew it, expanded it. Um, it became real systems. Um, today, it becomes a formal science and a team of people on a much better foundation to advance that science. That's the Homer Warner Center. We've always had the skill set of medical informatics but uh, we've never really been able to organize them and focus on them the way that the Homer Warner Center allows us to do it. The magic happens in a sense because you have medical informaticists next to each other and, and that spurs innovation and creativity that we don't otherwise get. Our developers are the ones that say, let's learn something new today. Let's create something that's never been done and let's make something we already have really great. Uh, and they take a lot of initiative. So that's really exciting. The Homer Warner Center is on the campus of Intermountain Medical Center. It's a short walk.
from the offices of our informaticists to the bedside of clinicians treating patients. And that walk will be made thousands of times, both ways, quite appropriately. You have to understand what a nurse does. You have to understand what an anesthesiologist does. And really, the best way to do that is to get involved and be in the clinical situation with collaborators who treat you as an equal. We count our successes in lives. And within Intermountain, we can point literally to thousands of lives, not just improved, but literally saved. I think it all comes back to the information that underlies medical science. I'm from Palos Verdes, California. I love teaching third grade and I love being out here in Utah. Love the outdoors, snowboarding, um, hiking, running. Jill moved to uh, Salt Lake at the end of May after getting her master's degree in education and was planning to spend the summer in our condo in Park City. After three weeks of being in the condo, I started noticing just shortness of breath and I developed a fever. Somehow drove myself to the Park City Hospital. She was uh, then transferred down to LDS Hospital. She was diagnosed with a kind of an unusual uh, pneumonia for this age group. It was called, it's called Legionnaire's disease. She did not look herself at that point. She was now on oxygen with a mask and she was very frightened as were we. This was a very life-threatening pneumonia. She was uh, very critically ill, uh, was on 100% oxygen and high uh, pressures on the ventilator for the first few days and uh, could have easily died from this. At one point, I did talk to Dr. Clemmer. At the worst of it, he said she had a 50-50 chance. And to hear that as a parent is just devastating. I think it was probably four days later um, that I started kind of coming out of, out of things and started feeling better. And it was soon thereafter that they came to us and said, she is improving and she will get better. I mean, to hear 100% recovery after hearing a 50-50 chance was, and it was the 100% recovery. I mean, she recovered in every way. Well, this is a wonderful example of how uh, the uh, information system in Intermountain Healthcare is so valuable to us. The first thing it does is it gives us instant information that we can look at that's available anywhere within Intermountain Healthcare. The second thing it does is it gives us a longitudinal medical record. We don't have to repeat any tests, but probably the most important thing that the uh, information system does is it helps us make decisions. I was the attending, and I don't think I would have uh, diagnosed Legionella uh, rapidly uh, if it hadn't been for the prompts from the computer. Um, I'm not sure if I would have gotten the correct tidal volume on her ventilator if it wasn't for the defaults in the pr protocols within the computer. Yes, I think it made a huge difference in her outcome. The Homer Warner Center, there are probably at least four things that, that we're hoping to accomplish. The first is the use of computer systems to improve patient care. A second mission or vision, if you will, for the center, we need to use the center to discover better ways to build computer systems. A third aspect of what we're doing is education in the tradition that Homer created. And then a fourth aspect of what we're doing is really national and international collaboration. Clearly, uh, over the years, Intermountain Healthcare's information system has become renowned. And we do some things that are very unique, and especially in what we call decision support. And that is one of the reasons that uh, General Electric, for example, has partnered with Intermountain in order to build a new system a system that uh, will expand on what uh, has been created here. We have the opportunity to dramatically improve outcomes, increase life expectancy, improve health, and do so at a lower overall cost to the community we serve. And I'm not aware of any other technology 
that can do that. Oh, we're very excited. I'm very excited about the future. I think that the people who work in the Homer Warner Center will have a marvelous opportunity to shape uh, the direction of medical care and of how we use information in medical care. The industry is ready. Uh, there are skilled people now being trained around the world that I think we can bring together and uh, I think you're going to see great things. Personally, Homer Warner is a remarkable man. He was an aviator during World War II, was a sailor, uh, a very kind and thoughtful person. He created an environment where we could be creative and innovative. I don't remember him ever discouraging us from even doing a stupid thing. He just said, oh, well, you ought to go try it. It might work. I would just say thank you very much, Homer. Uh, you have uh, inspired us and uh, guided us and give us uh, a vision of the future. Thank you so sincerely, personally, and from Intermountain Healthcare for what you've done. Homer, I would say to you that you have saved a life, our daughter's life. You've probably saved many lives. Thank you. Thanks for laying the initial path. We hope to do you proud. Uh, we hope to extend that path into a superhighway uh, that will fundamentally redefine not just informatics, but healthcare. It's on track. The vision was sound. Thanks for your leadership.